Hello students, welcome to the lecture on CRM process and after this lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives. Explain the literature review of CRM process, describe the CRM implementation process, describe the CRM process framework, define the CRM business transformation, understand about the eCRM and the differences between CRM and eCRM. Let's start with a brief introduction on CRM. Companies that enter to compete in a new market weaken the existing and solid ones due to new ways of doing and conceiving businesses. One of the factors that have driven all these changes is a constant change and evolution of technology. Because of this reality, the CRM concept has evolved in such a way that nowadays it must be viewed as a strategy to maintain a long-term relationship with the customers. A good customer relationship is the key to business success, relationship building and management or what has been labeled or relationship marketing is a leading approach to marketing. Hello students. Today, I will explain what a customer relationship management system is. Most companies today are focusing on customer retention and developing customer relationship management systems. This involves the systematic tracking of customers' preferences and behaviors and modifying the product or service to meet the needs of their customers. Information technology, particularly database systems, is an integral part of customer relationship management systems as companies capture vital information about their customers and adjust elements of their marketing programs to better meet their needs. Professor Siegfried is marketing communications an important part of customer relationship management? Yes, Sarah, marketing communications becomes important as companies strive to create more personalized and meaningful one-to-one -one communications and manage their customers and the selling interactions they have with them. More effective ways of communicating with customers is important such as social media. The ECRM, which focuses on customers instead of products or services, that is considering customers' needs in all aspects of a business, ensuring customer satisfaction by providing information and customer data profiles and history. They support important areas of a company's core processes, especially in marketing, sales and service. ECRM is all about optimizing profitability and enable businesses to keep customers under control as it makes the customer feel they are really a part of the business process. When managing the transition to a customer-centric organization, it is mandatory to develop the capabilities to acquire the necessary resources, knowledge and tools to meet customers' requirements with the appropriate products and services. A knowledge-based system is most effective in the managing of semi-structured problems. The abilities of such systems are usually applied on the managing level of strategic planning. An effective CRM system should enable an organization to gain greater insight into customer behavior and preferences, whereas ERP analytics are more likely to focus on supply and demand for key resources and materials. In spite of the wide use of Salesforce automation system in sales, a Foresta study observes significant deficits in today's marketing sales and service processes. It was found that just 22% of the companies surveyed possessed a uniform customer view and only 37% know which customers are looked after by individual business units. To eliminate weaknesses in customers' contact, many companies are either planning or is in the process of implementing CRM systems. According to Gartner survey, 65% of US companies intended to initiate CRM projects in 2002. In Europe, roughly 3% of companies had fully implemented a CRM project in 2001, 17% had initiated more than one local project and 35% were developing concepts for the introduction of CRM. Let us now discuss the literature review of CRM process. The first requirement for the successful implementation of CRM is clarity regarding CRM terminology. Operational CRM, it supports front office processes, example the staff in a call center. Operational integration points exist to human resource systems for user data 
an ERP system for transferring order information which was captured, example from a call center representative. From an operation perspective, CRM is an integration of technologies and business processes that are adopted to satisfy the needs of a customer during any given interaction. Analytical CRM, it builds an operational CRM and establishes information on customer segments, behavior and value using statistical methods. It is useful for management and evaluation purposes. The operational customer data are integrated with a centralized data warehouse which is consolidated database on certain criteria, example sales profits. Here the data mining tool analyzes defined dimensions, example compares the characteristic of one customer with another, leading to determination of a customer segment and thus providing the basic for targeted marketing campaigns. Collaborated CRM. It concentrates on customer integration using a coordinated mix of interaction channels, multi-channel management, for example, online shops and call centers. Approximately 60% of the companies surveyed internet portals in their customer communication for selected or suitable activities. CRM is therefore understood as a customer-oriented management approach where information systems provide information to support operational, analytical and collaborative CRM processes and thus contribute to customer profitability and retention. While potential benefits are attractive, CRM implementation must be managed carefully to deliver result. Automation refers to using technologies including computer processing to make decisions and implement programs, decisions, processes. In the first stage, the CRM life cycle begins with the integration of front office system and the centralization of customer related data. Second stage called analysis is the most critical to CRM success. CRM analytics enable the effective management of customer relationship. Using CRM analytics, organizations are able to analyze customer behaviors, identify customer buying patterns and discover casual relationship. The final phase, action, is where the strategic decisions are carried out. Business processes and organizational structures are refined based on the improved customer understanding gained through analysis. The stage closes the CRM loop and allows organization to cash in on the valuable insights gained through analysis. Systematic approaches to CRM help organization coordinate and effectively maintain the growth of different customer contact points or communication channels. The systematic approach places CRM at the core of the organization with customer-oriented business processes and the integration of CRM systems. According to Jeffent and Riddings, a CRM system consists of multiple modules including operational CRM which supports a variety of customer-oriented business processes in marketing, sales and service operation and analytical CRM which analyzes customer data and transaction patterns to improve customer relationship. Now moving on to the next topic, we will study the CRM process framework. Several scholars studying buyer-seller relationship have proposed relationship development process models. Building on that work, we develop a four-stage CRM process framework comprised of the following four sub-process. Our customer relationship, formation process, relationship management and governance process, a relationship performance evaluation process and a CRM evaluation or enhancement process. The CRM formation process. The formation process of CRM refers to the decision regarding initiation of relational activities for a firm with respect to a specific group of customers or to an individual customer with whom the company wishes to engage in a cooperative or collaborative relationship. The purpose of CRM and its operational goals the overall purpose of CRM is to improve marketing productivity and to enhance mutual value for the parties involved in the relationship. Improving marketing productivity and creating mutual values can be achieved by increasing marketing efficiencies and or enhancing marketing effectiveness. By seeking and achieving such operational goals as lower distribution costs, streamlining order processing and inventory management, reducing the burden of excessive customer acquisition costs and by considering the economics of customer retention, firms can achieve greater marketing efficiencies. 
relational parties and partners customer partner selection of parties with whom to engage in cooperative or collaborative relationship is another important decision in the relationship formation stage even though a company may serve all customer types few have the necessary resources and commitment to establish crm programs for all therefore in the initial phase companies have to decide on which customer types and specific customers or customers groups to focus their crm efforts on crm programs and strategies a careful review of the literature and the observation of corporate practices suggests that there are several types of crm programs broadly specified they fall into the following three categories continuity marketing one to one marketing and partnering programs each one of these can take different forms depending on whether they are meant for end consumer distributor customer or business to business customers the crm governance process once a crm program is developed and rolled out the program as well as the individual relationship must be managed and governed for mass market customers the degree to which there is symmetry or asymmetry in the primary responsibility for whether the customer or the program sponsoring company will be managing the relationship varies with the size of the market however for programs directed at distributors and business customers the management of the relationship would require the involvement of both parties Communication with customer partner is a necessary process of relationship marketing. It helps in relationship development, fosters trust, and provides information and knowledge needed to undertake the cooperative and collaborative activities of relationship marketing. In many ways, it is the lifeblood of relationship marketing. By establishing proper communication channels for sharing information with customers, a company can enhance the relationship with them. CRM performance. matrix periodic assessment of results in crm is needed to evaluate if the programs are meeting expectation and if they are sustainable in the long run performance evaluation also helps in taking corrective action in terms of relationship governance or in modifying relationship marketing objectives and program features without proper performance matrix to evaluate crm efforts it would be hard to make objective decision regarding continuation modification or termination of crm programs the crm evolution process individual customer relationship and crm programs are likely to undergo evolution as they mature some evolution paths may be pre-planned while others evolves naturally in any case several decision have to be made by the partners involved about the evolution of the crm programs these include decision regarding the continuation termination enhancement and modification of the relationship engagement several factors could hasten any of these decision let us now discuss crm transformation social business social enterprise social organization social x y z business already is social because by its very nature it consists of people interacting with each to get work done collaboration is already happening within ecosystem between employees different departments suppliers channels buyers customers without the need to add the social prefix adding the word by itself does bring attention to the idea that we need to change but it is overly used and has been hijacked by certain vendors to mean the tool set rather than the mindset and thus risk diluting the message being socialist human nature even though decades of tailorism and business social teaching would have us believed there is little place for this in organization but we are reaching its limits because in the pursuit of efficiency we are losing ineffectiveness in understanding and helping customers in their jobs to be done we are experiencing a communication revolution what has changed is the way technology is used to communicate to find and connect with like minded individuals and groups regardless of distance together with an evolution of expectation on how when where and why and with whom we choose to do so as a social customer wakes up and becomes aware of the pressure he can bring to bear individually or through collective action 
companies need to adapt their approach to ensure the sustainability of their business. Customers are voicing their opinions and ideas through social media and turning to their peers for information, feedback and support and are also starting to expect that companies treat them as business partners rather than the subject of a sale who are pushed through a funnel to the close of the deal. This is Chuck Schaefer, and I'm joined by VK, Head of Enterprise Cloud Services for Capgemini. VK, thank you very much for joining me today. Thanks, Chuck. Thanks for taking the time. How are you working with your customers to take advantage of social media and social channels in relationship to their CRM applications? So the way we, we are doing it is we, we, we actually did a very interesting study with MIT. What we found out with that study was um, uh, the, 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 the transformation that not just social channels, but also the fact that people use mobile devices which fuel the shift to social uh, has created a massive set of opportunity. As those, those, as those opportunities come to rise, customers are now shifting taking more ownership of the conversation, taking more ownership of the brand. How does a company become more transparent, more connected, more honest with their customers? How do we help enable that piece? When you do that, enterprises, we see in our opinion, build stronger, more robust connections. Even if they have had miscues, even if they have had brand miscues, the more you try to hide, the more you try to be arrogant, it, 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 is, it won't work in this transparent way. So how do you enable those, those uh, companies to be more transparent, more honest? And that's the role we see that the CRM systems and processes need to play as enterprises react to the shift in the, in the market. Many business leaders clearly see the CRM evolution. It's taking off like a, a rocket ship, uh, and particularly with social media. But they're unclear as to the payback, the return on investment of social media. How, what are the benefits, what are the bottom line benefits that you're seeing your customers achieve who integrate their social strategy with their CRM strategy? Um, that, that's a great question. You know, it's, it's one of those things where it is obvious, but you have to quantify it and we struggle with the quantification. So what, what I advise my customers when I talk about this situation is um, I, I tell them to look at you know, social as a means of enabling customer relationships. First, maybe, I mean, there are, there are two aspects of it. How do you engage with your end customer? And then also, how do you empower your people, create those platforms so that your people can engage with, their, with your customers in a more efficient fashion? So I, what I normally advise customers to look at is, is not just look at the, the payback you get in engaging with the customer on the social channel, but also how do you empower your people? How do you create a, 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 a transparent, honest, egalitarian system that allows them to be in a position to delight your customers. So the business case, in, in, in our opinion, is not just on the customer return, but also on the employee return. It, it seems as though customers' objectives for mobility have evolved from first just wanting to provide anytime, anywhere access to company information and customer information to now being a very synergistic part with a social strategy. What are your customers saying when they come to you with mobile objectives and how are you helping them achieve mobile strategies? That's another great question. Um, we covered the social topic. Mobile, from a, from a change and a shift perspective, is also another big shift that we see. What, what I advise my customers when they ask, or what I hear from my customers when they ask about uh, you know, the next step of mobile evolution, is we see customers asking more specific questions. Earlier it used to be just give me the access, give me information. Now it is personalize it for me. And, and what is surprising is people are willing to give up a little bit of their privacy if two things are done. One, you protect it, don't screw it up. Second, give me more personalized, make it more valuable for me. So that's what I advise my customers. What, I, what I'm hearing from customers is, is that how do I build my systems, my processes to, to, to take care of this trust which I'm being given by my customer and at the same time 
satisfy and delight my customer by having more personalized uh, uh, information, mo make it much more personalized for me, for my uh, specific customer. So, so specifically for you, not just for you know a, a demographic or a segment or an, you know. So it's, it, I, I want it more specialized for me. Customers are using CRM and related technologies to automate and scale their CRM and their social strategies. But the deployment of all technologies involves risks. What do you think the most common risks are when deploying CRM or social CRM technologies? And how do you advise companies mitigate those risks? You know, it's another great question. We, you know, the, the most common risk which when our customer talks to me, they feel is the the technology is not going to work. How is this so con so complicated? How are you going to integrate? Where do I hold my data? Frankly, while that is an important risk, the larger risk is how are you going to drive your sales transformation? How do you go from a situation? How do you how do you change your sales force's perception about how do they engage with the customers in a in, a, in an honest and transparent way? Th that's a much bigger change. Then, the and that's much, that's a much bigger change. That's a much bigger risk. Then, will the technology work? The use of technology, sorry, the use of technology, is is a, is an important risk and it's a valid risk. But the impact to the process change, the impact to the the people is much more a serious uh, a risk. That's what I tell my customers to address most. What other advice would you recommend to a business or IT leader that's about to embark on a CRM, social CRM, or related technology journey? So the, the number one advice I would give is first embrace it. I mean, you, you have to really think of this as a transformative change, um, not as you know, I need to get a system to listen to what my customers talk about a brand. It's, it's, it's not just about that. It is how do I, as, as I said, the shift has happened. The customers now own the conversation. They own the relationship. They own the brand. You know, you are there to safeguard and protect it. How, you know, it, it, think from those objectives and help lay the roadmap of what you want to achieve and then use those as guiding principles to tell your teams and then you can go by, uh, you know, depending on your on your degree of risk, your appetite for risk, your complexity. You can go in a in a structured fashion, small rollouts, whichever way. But get your principles and in in the the main guiding objectives in place and embraced by not just your sales team but your entire executive team. Once you guys are on the same page, then using those principles to 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 basically control the program, to guide the program. That's how I would advise you. That's the one advice I would give you. VK, for my last question, if we look forward a few years, how do you think that the customer strategy and supporting technologies industry is going to change or evolve? It's, it's about leveraging the technologies that I use in my own personal space. I use FaceTime to talk to my family. I want FaceTime to talk to my contact center to fix the problem. I use uh, Google to find out where my problems are. I, I use forums. I want to do that. I don't want to call a 1-800 number. So I think as those, those technology shift, and also it's not just about I'm only going to ask the enterprise for solving my issue. You're going to ask the community, not just the enterprise. So harness the power of the community. S build and support that community. And now, and then, instead of having you know, all your customers be you know, customer service issues, they'll become your advocates. How, that shift, that opportunity is the, the single biggest opportunity in my mind around how customer service is going to shift. Let us now move to the next topic. Consider the following progression for a moment and let us see where ECRM can lead. ECRM provides access, access creates information, information enables measurement. Measurement is an imperative for process improvement Process improvement leads to growth in revenues and profit, supporting the front office. Many organizations today see CRM as an accepted tool to support these disciplines. Just as an organization would not consider running their finances without an accounting system, many now would not consider running sales marketing and customer service without a CRM system. 
plan to do ECRM right. Customer will choose which contact channel is most effective for them. ECRM means greater efficiency. From a marketing measurement point of view, all this is very exciting indeed. Consider some of the leading database marketing literature of the late 1980s. Their premise was that marketing campaign management was all about capturing every point of dialogue with the market prospects and customers to enable accurate measurement of marketing effectiveness and to use this to plan future campaigns and events, continuously improving their effectiveness, doing more of what worked and avoiding what did not. Setting a campaign for guidance, multiple choices are offered to the respondent, example request information, book onto an event, self-qualify, contact a salesman, purchase product etc. All is captured and tracked by the database. More than that, we can respond from the system and automatically acknowledge the response. We can fulfill very rapidly, most probably directly from the system. We can route the inquiry to wherever and whoever is best to deal with it based on self-qualification, data captured at each subsequent stage. Down the process, each player in enterprise will have access to the complete picture so far. We have captured everything, therefore we can measure the process. ECRM is limited only by the creativity of the marketer. CRM and ECRM The Differences Technology can greatly assist firms in developing great customer relationship by linking the front office process, example sales, marketing management, order management, sales management, sales planning, pricing, after sales service and support with back end processes, example procurement, finance, payroll, shipping, production planning, profitability analysis, receivables and payables, inventory, management and human resources. CRM and ECRM The 1990s was a period of remarkable growth of a class of software called ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning. The ERP system tie in numerous legacy systems used for the back-end operation so that system across a firm are linked thereby making information across the firm available more easily. Ideally, CRM allows an organization to tailor its products and services to each customer's preferences. The CRM may be used to create a personalized one-to-one -one experience that will give the individual customer a sense of being cared for, thus opening up new marketing opportunities based on the preferences and history of the customer. Cartier and Lee point out, CRM is a customer-focused business strategy that aims to increase customer satisfaction and customer loyalty by offering a more responsive and customized service to each customer. With the movement of business application to the internet, CRM has enhanced an organization's capabilities by providing access to its customers and suppliers via the web. This web experience and communication through the wireless web is called eCRM. The internet is advancing ECRM. It provides features that are attractive to customers and business organization. Differences between CRM and ECRM are subtle but important. They concern the underlying technology and its interfaces with users and other systems. Traditionally, CRM systems use client or server technologies where all programs and applications are run on one or more centralized servers. The front end operation of the system interface with the back end operation through the traditional ERP system. The system does not use data warehouses or data mods. The ERP system acts as data repositories and capture data from both the front end and back end operation. The usual customer touch points are retail stores and the organization's customer service and support centers. Example, personal contact through retail outlets, telephone and fax. With ECRM, the interface between the front end and back end operation is not only through ERP, but it also utilizes data warehouses and data mods. Data warehouses is a logical collection of information gathered from several operational databases used to create business intelligence in support of business activities and decision making. Data warehouses are multi-dimensional databases. The layers in a data warehouse represent information according to different dimensions. A data mat is a subset of a data warehouse in which only a focused portion of the data warehouse information is kept. Customer 
touch points in ECRM are expanded to include the internet and wireless devices supporting mobile and PDA technologies. Role of online CRM in sales and marketing. We have probably heard this a million times before that online CRM can work wonders for the sales and marketing department of company. But how does it do this is a question very few people manage to answer. Salesforce automation is what it is called and effectively we are automating complete sales and marketing team. An online CRM has such an easy to use interface that within minutes a sales executive can view and manage existing as well as new leads update team as well as individual pipelines with a single click export or print spreadsheets with a click etc. Now these are tasks that might have occupied a lot of time and manpower in the past. Marketing automation. The number one thing that an online CRM tool does is that it integrates sales and marketing team at the core. This makes it easy for both the teams to function singularly as well as in tandem. A CRM tool has a list of specialized marketing screens and dashboards which can be used by operational as well as managerial staff and also third-party telemarketing agencies. Benefits of Online CRM Online CRM solution tap the power of internet into one secure application which we can log in and use anytime to manage entire business customer relationship issues. Online CRM solutions are founded on the SAAS software as a service concept. The application run on the provider secure server and are delivered via the internet. Without time or distance confined, we can access and use the application from anywhere and anytime. Few key benefits of using online CRM solution for customer relationship management. Stores vital customer data in a secure, organized manner creates and maintains detailed customer profiles, offers instant secure access to customer data from any location, provides a host of tools to log in customer preferences individually, facilitates quick analysis of customer information to determine customer preferences, makes it easy to provide one-to-one -one customer services, maximizes customer satisfaction, improves customer loyalty and increases customer retention. Benefits of Online CRM for Small Business Online CRM provides perfect solution for the specific needs of small businesses. It also helps in managing various business activities such as sales and marketing, billing and expense, project management, human resources, customer service, Online Customer Relationship Management CRM Solution make customer as the main focus for all the activities in the enterprise. They help the businesses to understand the customer needs and serve the customers in better way. CRM solution help increasing the revenue. By reducing operational costs, simplifying sales and marketing processes, broadening the customer base, providing better customer service. Now in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. A careful review of the literature and the observation of corporate practices suggests several types of CRM programs. Customer segmentation and program differentiation is needed in order to match revenue potential with service offerings. Implementation involves revenue, the resource requirements and availability both in terms of hardware and software. The first requirement for the successful implementation of CRM is clarity regarding CRM terminology. Understanding the needs of customers and offering value-added services are recognized as factors that determine the success or failure of companies.